expected that at some point the lights were just going to go off and then I was going to die because that's what happens in plane crashes, right? People don't make it. And by the grace of God, everything got quiet and it stopped. And when it stopped, there was a moment of, I'm alive. A story of survival and how life changed in less than a minute. Tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from the lone survivor of December's plane crash in Lafayette. Wade Burzas was one of six people on that plane that day headed to Georgia to see LSU play in the Peach Bowl when the plane went down shortly after takeoff from Lafayette Regional Airport. He spent the next 52 days at Our Lady of Lords recovering, and as, and as our Chris Welty reports in our top story, he says his faith helped him get through it. After the plane crash, Wade Burza says he turned to his oil field training to get out of the plane. I remember the first words out of my mouth were, not today, not today. He pointed his thumb towards the exit. And so I unbuckled my seatbelt and I fell flat on my face. <laughs> Just fell straight out as the seat was, was turned down. And uh, I did the only thing I knew to do at that point, right? So there was there was fire around me in one direction, and there was daylight in another direction. Burzaw says he focused on his family and walked to the daylight. He said the field was extremely muddy, and with each step, he kept falling to his knees. Shortly after, he remembers two people helping him get to safety and being able to see the devastation. This is really bad, and I don't know if I'm going to be the only person to survive. But it was obvious at that point that not everybody was going to make it out. Burzaw says in that moment, God blessed him with a lot of clarity. He was able to call his wife and he was able to talk with first responders. In all, he spent 52 days in the hospital and his recovery was much faster than many doctors even expected. So in less than two months, I was completely healed and released. And it's one of those things that can only happen by the grace of God. Since his release, Burza says there are still challenges and he's had to learn to trust God even more. For me to survive a plane crash on a piece of metal that's just barely bigger than this chair that I'm sitting in is a huge miracle. It's, the, the, it's as close as we're going to get until the day of the rapture to God coming down on a cloud on his white horse. Right? It's, a, it's an in-your-face, obvious announcement that, hey, I'm here. Our Chris Welty reporting. Well, tonight the NTSB investigation into that plane crash continues. The full investigation could continue until the end of the year. From the wreckage, the NTSB was able to determine the plane was intact when it hit the ground. There was no distress call. The engines and some instrument panels are in Washington, D.C. for analysis. One of the victims in that crash was sports reporter Carly McCord. Her husband is suing the plane's owners and the estate of pilot Ian Biggs, who was killed in the crash. The suit claims the owners and operators were negligent and posed an unreasonable risk to passengers. In state news, how